what's up mga pare ko? So for this video, ang pag-uusapan natin ay ang 3 possible solutions ng oblique triangle if we are using law of sines. So possible dyan na magkakaroon tayo ng isang solution. Isang solution, ibig sabihin, isang triangle lang yung form. Pangalawa, two solutions, ibig sabihin, this is the what we discussed in our previous video, the ambiguous case. Makabuo tayo ng dalawang triangle sa given lang na binigay. And lastly is no solution. No solution, ibig sabihin yung information na binigay, hindi siya makakaform ng triangle. Siguro, magkukulang yan, or siguro mali yung, mali yung mga given. Yung parang ganun, kaya mag no solution siya. Okay, so let's try solving that. First, i-identify natin kung ano bang solution yan. And second, isosolve natin yung mga solution na yan. So first here is, yung given natin dito is one solution. So basically, kunwari hindi natin alam na this is an example of one solution, pero kunwari hindi natin alam na one solution yan, ipuprove na lang natin mamaya kung bakit one solution to. Okay? So first, again, let's do the traditional way. Let's draw the, uh, what do you call this? The triangle, the oblique triangle. This is side B, side C, side A. Let's input the given. This is 42 degrees. This is A is 10 and B is 9. Okay. So solving that using our sine law, that would be A over sine A is equals to, let's solve for angle B, ah, B over sine B. Bakit B yung unang sinosolve natin? Kasi yun yung pinaka, yun yung pwede muna natin isolve eh. Kasi uh, meron tayong ratio ng A, A, meron din tayong B. Uh, which is partner niya yung angle B. So, to solve for that, let's substitute values. A is 10. That would be over sine 42 would be equal to B. B is given. That's 9. Sine B. Okay? So, to solve for sine B, cross multiply. 10 sine B is equal to 9 sine 42 degrees. Let's uh, divide both sides by 10. That would be divided by 10 divided by 10. Sine B would be equal to 9 sine 42 degrees over 10. So, to solve for the value of angle B, gamit tayo ng arc sine, sine negative 1, that would be equal to 9 sine 42 divided by 10. So, solving that is equals to 37 degrees. Approximate natin yan na ang sagot natin dito is 37 degrees. So, the value of this side is 37 degrees. Now, uh, at this point, pwede, na, pwede nating i-identify kung anong, anong, ano yung solution ng problem na to. Is this one solution, two solution, or no solution at all? So, to do that, what we need to do is first, mag-subtract tayo ng, subtract natin yung 180 dito. So, 180 minus 37 degrees, what's the result of that? 180 minus 37 would be equal to 143. Okay. Next thing to do is to add 143. 143, i-add natin yan sa ating existing angle or the given angle. I-add natin. The given or the existing angle is this angle, which is the angle A. So, adding that, ang result natin dyan would be 143 plus, that's 42, that's equals to 185. 185. Okay, so kung napanood yung ambiguous case natin, malalaman nyo na kung ano yung kung bakit, kung one solution or two solution. Pero dito, I will try to explain it further. Kapag yung result mo dito, kapag yung result mo dito is greater than 180, ibig sabihin, it only has one solution, guys. Pero, kapag yung value mo dito is lesser than 180, ibig sabihin, dalawang solution po yan. So, dito sa test value natin, 185 is greater than 180. Ibig sabihin, tama, this, this problem only has one solution. Alright? So, let's continue now solving since one solution lang yan. Wala na tayong kailangang isolve na another uh, triangle. So, next thing to do, let's find for the angle C using 180 minus the existing sides. 180, ano yung mga ex existing sides natin? This is 42 plus 37. 42 plus 37 minus 180 is 101. This is equals to 101. Okay? So, the value of our angle C is equals to 101. So, let's write it out here. This is 101 degrees. Okay, for that, we can now solve for the value naman of 
our next of angle of side C using sine law. Again, mas mainam na gamitin natin yung mga given. That would be equal to A over sine A would be equal to B over sine, joke lang, that's C over sine C kasi C yung hinahanap natin. Cross multiply, the value of our A is 10 times sine C, sine C, C is 101, sine 101 degrees. Tapos next naman, value ng ating C, yan yung hinahanap natin, times uh, sine A. Sine A is sine 42. Sine 42 degrees, transpose natin yung C sa kabila, ay yung sine 42. So C would be equal to 10 sine 101 divided by sine 42. So solving that, the value of our side C would be equal to 14.67 or approximately 15. Okay, approximately 15. So side C is equal to 15. Okay, so let's do our traditional way of checking kung uh, tama ba yung sagot natin. Dapat, yung largest angle should have the largest side, which is tama. 101, opposite nyan, is the 15. Ang lowest naman natin is 37. It has the lowest side also, which is 9 because that's 10. Okay? So basically, kung tutuusin, medyo tama yung sagot natin. Alright? So that's it to check if kung anong may solution ba siya, kung one solution or two solution using this uh, test value natin. Okay? Now, let's go. Next. So, itong problem na to ay two solution siya. Two solution problem, ibig sabihin, this is an ambiguous case. Pero for example, hindi, kunwari, hindi natin alam na two solution yan, let's try solving it and prove and try to identify kung anong solution ba yan, one, two, or no solution. So again, traditional way, let's first draw our triangle. Let's input the values. This is uh, angle. This is angle. This is A. Sorry. B, C. That's C, B, A. So the angle, this is 30 degrees. A is 7. B is 8. Okay. So let's try evaluating this. Again, isolve muna natin yung angle B kasi... Meron tayong ratio ng A and A. Meron tayong tayong B. So, pwede natin masolve yung angle B. So, that's A over sine A is equals to B over sine B. Substitute values. Substituting values. Our A is 7 over sine 30 degrees. Is equals to B is 8 over sine B. We are finding for B. So, let's try to find that. Cross multiply. 7 sine B is equals to 8 sine 30 degrees. Divide both sides by 7. Sine B would be equal to 8 sine 30 divided by 7. So, to solve for the value of so to solve for the value of B, that would be arc sine, sine negative 1 of 8 sine 30 degrees over 7. So, let's calculate that using our calculator. Shift sine of 8, 35 Degrees. Okay, so we have this value 35 degrees. So from this, since we have the angle B, let's test again. Magtitest na tayo kung uh, ilan yung solution yan. Will that be equal to 1 or 2? Okay, again, unang gawin natin is to subtract 180 sa ating angle B. 180 minus 35 degrees. Ang result niyan is equals to 180 minus, minus 35 is equals to 145. That's 145 degrees. And 145, i-add natin yan sa existing angle natin or yung given natin na angle or given angle natin is 30 degrees. So 145 plus 30 is 175. 175. Okay, so again, if our, this result, if this result is lesser than 180, that would be equal to two solutions. Kapag ang result is greater than 180, it will have only one solution. So, saan dyan? 175 is definitely lesser than 180. Ibig sabihin, ito yung dalawang solution yan. So, from this, we can build now one solution. So, ano na ngayon yung side, yung another angle B natin? Yung another angle B natin is this, 145. So, to find 145, that's only 180 minus 35. So, before we continue, let's draw first the other triangle. So, that would be this. Parang ito, nilagay lang nat 
to draw that, kung andito yung isang side natin, we'll just draw it this way. So, that would be equal to, it would look like a seemingly something like this. Yun. Always na palaging mag-obvious to. Okay, so this is side A, B, C. Let's put the, exist, the original angles. Ang original na values natin, this is, wait, this is, B, A, C. Ang original na ano natin, A natin is 30 degrees. Uh, this is 7. This is 8. Okay. So, let's, let me just erase this. So, we have some space. Okay. So, from this, we can say that angle B, as we saw the while ago, is 145. And let's don't forget that this angle B here is, anong nasolve natin kanina? That's 35. This is 35. So, we have two triangles. So, let's separate that. And let's solve for the existing, para makuha natin yung buong solution, let's solve for the existing angle C and side C. So, to do that, that's again 180 minus 30. This is 30 plus 35. That would be equal to 30 plus 35 is equal to 65 minus 180. So, Angle C would be equal to 115 degrees. Okay? So, let's solve now for the side C using sine law. That would be A over sine. Sine A would be equal to C kasi C yung sinosolve natin over sine C. A natin is 7 over sine of 30 degrees which is equal to C natin, yun yung hinahanap, over sine of 115 degrees. Let's uh, put this to the other side. Transpose natin sa kabila. Ibig sabihin, C would be equal to 7 sine 1115 divided by sine 30. Evaluating that, solving, I mean, that would be equal to 7, calculating 7 sine 115 divided by sine of 30 is equal to 12.68, approximately 13. Okay? So, the value of our side C here, I joke lang, this is 13 and angle C is 115. So, i-check natin again our traditional way. So, ang ating largest angle is 115 should contain opposite the largest side which is 13. Tama, lowest is 36 degrees, lowest also is 30 is 30, lowest also is 7. So, basically, malapit-lapit sa tama yung sagot natin. Okay, next. Dito naman tayo sa kabila. Let's solve for the angle C. That would be 180 minus 145 plus 30. 145 plus 30 is equal to uh, 175. So, 180 minus 175 is 5 degrees. So, angle C is 5 degrees. So, let's solve for side C. That would be equal to A over sine. A is equal to C over sine C. A natin is... 7 over sine 30 is equal to C. Yan yung hinahanap natin. Over sine 5 degrees. Transpose ko yung 5 degrees sa kabila. That would be equal to C is equal to 7. Sine 5 degrees over sine 30 degrees. Solving that in our calculator, we will have with the answer, which is 7 sine 5 over sine 30 is equal to 1 point, approximately 1.22 or let's just say C is equals to 1. So C here is equals to 1. So we have the complete solution. Let's try to identify kung tama ba yung pinaggagawa natin ng ating largest angle is 145. It has the largest side which is 8. Lowest angle natin is 5. It also has the lowest side which is 1. So... Sa malamang sa malamang, tama yung sagot natin. Alright? So, that's it for no solution. You can use this test this test value para malaman kung may solution yan o wala. Okay, last. Paano naman yung walang solution? So, kunwari ulit, hindi natin alam na walang solution yan. At ipuprove natin pag nagsusolve tayo na walang solution yan. Walang solution, ibig sabihin walang triangle na mafoform. So, how will we do that? Let's start with the first i plot muna natin yan para mas madali nating ma-visualize kung ano yung mga nangyayari sa ating bansa. Okay. So, ano yung mga given? A is 75 degrees. C is, this is 9. A ko is, this is 8. Tama ba? 8. Yeah, 8. 8. Okay. 
So, let's try to figure out kung ano yung possible outcome nito. Let's do the traditional way. Since we have A, A, C, C, we'll find for now sign for the value of angle C. Kasi yun yung meron tayong given eh. So, that would be equal to A over sign A is equal to C over sign C. Okay, A natin is 8 over sign which is the value which is 75 which is equal to C. C natin, joke lang, meron pa tayong value, that's 9 over sine C. Because we are finding for the angle C. Let's cross multiply, that would be equal to 8. Sine C is equal to, this is equal to 9 over 9 times sine 75 degrees. Okay, transpose, divide both sides by 8, divide both sides by 8. Sine C would be equal to 9 sine 75 over 8. Okay, so to find for the value of angle C, that would be equal to the arc sine of 9 sine 75 degrees over 8. Okay, so let's calculate that. Shift sine of shift sine of 9 sine 75 over 8 Tantananan, math error siya guys. Math error sabi ng calculator ko. Math error sabi ng calculator ko. Inulit ko ulit siya guys, math error. Parang ibig sabihin, ano yung concept dito? Ibig sabihin, kung nag math error yan, ulitin mo ng tatlong beses. Pag math error pa rin yan, no solution yan. Alright? <laughs> no solution yan. Bakit? Let's ex I, will ex I will explain that. Arc sine ng negative, ito muna, evaluate muna natin itong loob na to. Ano, ano ba yung value niyan? Yung sa loob lang, that would be equal to 9 sine 75 divided by 8. That's uh, 1, 9 sine 75 divided by 8, that was 1.08 guys. Okay, C, ito, sine negative 1, uh, arc sine Ang arc sine kasi, ang range po ng arc sine natin is only from negative 1 until 1. So, ito, wala siya sa range ng sine. Ibig sabihin, mat error, hindi siya, avail, hindi siya pwede. Kaya dito, ibig sabihin lang na itong problem natin ay walang solution. Walang solution, ibig sabihin, hindi ka makakabuo ng... Uh, hindi ka makakabuo ng triangle given this angle. So, yung... Uh, uh, Magiging result niyan would be something like this. Uh, ganyan. Since ito, yung ito, di ba, B yung, B yung sinosolve natin kanina, di ba? Ay, yung angle C. Siguro yan, mabibitin yan hanggang dyan. Yan yung, yan yung nangyari kaya mat error siya. Kulang yung, ito, kapag binuka mo na yung 75 degrees, hindi siya aabot hanggang dito kapag 8 yan. Alright? So... That's it mga pare ko. I hope you have learned. Dapat alam niyo na kung paano identify kung one solution ba yan, two solution or no solution. So if you have some question, comment it down below. We'll try to answer that. And yeah. For our next video, we will talk about law of cosines naman tayo. Law of cosines. And that's it. Bye-bye mga pare ko.